Hey everyone, Robert here, and I love Moho, but the lip syncing features just really suck. Um, I need to be able to do animations quick, and the t biggest time consumer for me is lip syncing everything. Now you can go through and you can do your regular window and going through your switch layer settings and create your keyframes for an audio thing but you run into problems even with the character stuff. Now I went through the character wizard and set up this guy and I go into the switch layer within the head and I can go into the mouth and what I'm going to go ahead and do is set up a switch layer with an audio file that I've that I've just just threw together on the fly okay but if you'll notice there's no character if I play it this is what I get okay so see there's nothing there so what you have to do and this is in the latest version of moho I've got version let's see where is it about moho about Moho, there we go. I got Pro 12, okay? So they should have fixed all of this, but they didn't. So what you have to do within the character thing is you have to take, you'll notice all of these layers, you have to make them all small caps. You have to make them small caps. And they have to, we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on the mouth here and move that up you have to be able to move all of these and the character doesn't have it set up to where at the very bottom you have to have your resting mouth your closed mouth and then gradually get wider and wider with your widest mouth at the very top and they've got it bass backwards so they did that now I'm not going to waste your time as I already have and show you that even with this this isn't going to work, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to chop a big portion of the editing out, and I'm going to go ahead and just make all of these instead of capital letters, small letters, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So hold on. Okay, so I've edited all of these. So I kept everything the same, and but I've made them small. Now some of these I didn't have to, but in any case I've done it. Now you have some of the tech people that are telling you that you have to have what you name each one of these image layers and that's what these are. These are all just image layers that someone has drawn on here either with vector or imported images and it looks like with vector. That you have to name them as the phoneme like TH has got to be ETC, um, AI, that sort of thing for it to be able to sync up properly. So let's test that theory. Go ahead and open up the mouth. You do your switch layer and we're going to import that and we're going to hit it on OK. And as you can see, all the keyframes are there. They're there. Now I'm going to play you just a little bit and let's go ahead and adjust the project settings because I know the keyframes are out beyond 240. I know they're at 588. We'll go ahead and do OK. Now watch. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Robert Weimer, and I'm going to show you how to lip sync with, with really old crud. I just messed up. But can we take a Okay, so it, it it's not. <laughs> It's not precise. It's not precise. Okay, so this is what I had to do. We're going to go into the next experiment here. And I went ahead and did a simple little uh, switch layer and I imported some images. Now, if you'll notice here, it's different. All I have, instead of all of the mouths that you saw in the other one, all of the mouths that were here before. I mean, I don't have near as many switch layers as I do in here. So I went ahead and it's the same audio file and the bottom is rest, two, three, four, and five. That's what I've got. And this is the thing too. You don't have to put letters in there or the phone names. You just have to put the numbers. The lowest one is going to be at the very bottom and your lowest number should be your switch layer. Now, it's still a little messed up, but it's a little bit better. Let me play it for you. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Robert Weimer, and I'm going to show you how to lip sync with, with really old crud. I just messed up. But can we take that again? Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. I'm Robert Weimer. I'm going to show you how to lip sync real easily so you don't have to spend a whole lot of time. So here we go. Well, hello. 
Okay, so it's not good, but it's better than it was before. And the trick is eliminating a lot of these, but I needed to get rid of one, and this image layer was it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip on lip sync 00, zero and all I have done is I have gotten rid of the smiley. So I have a resting mouth, I have one that's a little open, a little more open, and way open, and the exact same file. So take a look. Let me get back on the switch layer. Let, take a look and tell me what you think. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Robert Weimer, and I'm going to show you how to lip sync with, with really, oh, crud, I just messed up. Can we take that again? Oh, okay, three, two, one. Hey, everybody, I'm Robert Weimer. I'm going to show you how to lip sync real easily so you don't have to spend a whole lot of time. So here we go. Okay, so... It's not as precise as if you were to go up into your window and go through your switch selection. You know, if you were to go through here and go through each one of these, you could make it more precise. And you could even have all of the switch layers that you have on this guy. But that takes a tremendous amount of time. I mean, you can do actions, you can do movements, particle layers, you can do all of these different things. But I think we all agree that the lip syncing takes a huge amount of time. And for simple animations, all you have to do is just basically have four layers. You have to have a resting, open mouth, a little more open, and a little more open, okay? that That's going to be the key. Each one of these, as they ascend, they have to be a little bit more open. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the directory. Now, number two, that's the thing that I got rid of. But if you can look at all of these, they, they look like they're getting bigger from left to right. They're getting from resting to larger. And then, of course, you can do this with your own variations of your mouth. But really, I mean, all I did was just do the whole drop into the switch layer thing. I went into the whole thing with the mouth, double-clicked on that, and imported my audio file. It's not going to read that it's there because it's already there. Oops, let's go ahead and get out of that. But it's already there. All the keyframes are there. And really, it's and it's not that it's not that bad if you wanted to do quick animations because people are going to fill in the gaps with regard to the mouth. I mean, if you ever watch Family Guy, I mean, Family Guy is um, well, it's not the tweening in between it is roughly at about 24 frames per second. Looks like you know it's not at 60, but. This is a good way to get lip syncing done really fast to get your animation projects off the ground. And man, take this and run with it because I have spent hours trying to figure out this whole thing. And thankfully, I got it knocked out, at least for me. So I hope this helps. If, it help, if you know another animator that is having the same kind of headaches like I have, share this thing and give it to him or her and hopefully it'll help you all out being more creative and less of this technical Bull crap. <laughs> Later.